guys, it is Wednesday and we're gonna head over to the meet. Not. So we are headed out to Tampa. We're gonna go pick up a car. We're driving through the night to pick this thing up. It's late as hell. And uh, we've been talking with the owner of this car. Um, we're really excited to see it. We're not gonna spill the beans just yet on what it is, but I think you're really gonna enjoy it. It's a great platform to start with. Yeah, so we're headed out to Tampa, and uh, so this car, the owner of this car actually watches our videos, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we didn't know that when we messaged him, and he uh, texted me, you know, basically after we all already arranged everything, and he was like, hey, I was just watching your videos. I didn't know that you were the one who was actually messaging me about the car. So we're going to go pick it up, uh, drive it back. So let's go see this car. ETA, two and a half hours. We just gassed her up. We don't have a name for it yet, but we're gonna call it the Green Turd tonight. Next to the Black Stallion. So some things about it, if we actually are gonna teaser it. Mechanically 100% sound, full All interior. All American street car performance. Oh shit. Comes free with the car. It's got some horsepower it's stickers. It's got this nasty spoiler delete with a ducktail. It's got, see this major ducktail right here. Dude, that's major tail. Dude, we got major tail. It goes tail. over the brake light. It goes over the brake light. It goes over the brake light. We got this Florida Slow Life, because this is a two valve for all you two valve guys out there. And yes, I have a, we have a two valve now, so we can make fun of two valves. It has the exact same exhaust tips as Andrew's Cobra. They're just not hooked up. They're just not That's hooked why up. That's it's loud as... The car's running an open, dumped <laughs> X-pipe. With no cats. With no cats. <laughs> Smells ripe. Yep. Well, and yeah. Some, some fresh nittos, which look like they've been burnt for 10,000 miles. Yeah, it's got some, some knit. But I mean, look at this interior. It's not bad. It's clean. Oh, oh wait, we got more. There's some things of Tampa here. And uh, for all you new edge guys out there, yes, this is normal. New edge guys will get the struggle. Other guys are going to think this is a piece of crap. Motor's clean, no knock. Rust free. Rust free. It's a Florida car. Paint's a little faded, but uh, you can not fix bad. that. We'll fix that right up. Cobra front bumper. Yeah, that's actually really cool. But the Cobra front bumper, we got to paint that. But green means go. We're going. All right. 
right, we're taking a break. Stop and get some food and then yeah, head back. Yeah, it's needed. We got a long drive home. Put some 87 octane in the two valve because non-tuned life. It smells so ripe. Oh my God. Well, it doesn't have any cats and no mufflers or anything. Ugh. We're <laughs> going to We're going to change that. Yeah, we're going to put an exhaust on it. <laughs> at least. Might hit up Tyler Barnes at hey. uh, Ice Cold Air and Muffler in Orlando. We're actually going there uh, Friday. Yeah, Friday for the Cobra, but might have That's to go to stop be in. Either that or just pick up a whole cat pack for it. They're pretty cheap for solid rear axle cars. Yeah. All right, we're back in the vehicle. So this is a premium, a 1999 GT premium. So it came with this nice leather you see right there. Nice. Dashing. It also came with the Mach 460 sound system, which also had dual CD and tape player. <gasps> now, it looks like someone unfortunately took out the original radio. What a but, cut! But we still have the original CD player here. They Bro, took out the tape player. There's two CD players in the car. What do you think about that? It also has optional traction control. Luckily, the button doesn't work. And yeah, race car. So we commissioned this fire truck to drive back with us because we don't know if the car is going to catch on fire. Just kidding. But Andrew constantly has to keep restarting it because it loves to stop. So we're driving through Tampa, getting back towards I-4, and it just sort of recurred to me our situation. We're passing a ton of police on our way out, and the owner actually whispered in Andrew's ear to have a light foot with the car while he drove it home, because apparently the car is really well known around these parts. Uh, the owner kind of drove it like a badass, like he should, and the cops love to pull it over, so we're gonna take it easy. We just got onto the causeway, so we're gonna be cruising a little bit. And we'll give you some updates as we get back. Andrew has to pee. So we're stopping off the side of the interstate so we can pee. All right, Scott just ran a Lambo, and I'm back here in the two valve, like I'm trying to keep up. Driver swap. Driver mod. Oh shit. Andy. Watch him miss all these gears. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, by the way, in 99 to 2000 had e the even worse cup holders. So, <laughs> you see that right there. Hey, it's working. Oh my god. It's so fucking loud. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. This thing sounds like a fucking dump truck.
<laughs> it's fun though, right? It's so <laughs> slow, it's fun. I love two valves now. <laughs> the first time, this is the first two valve I've ever driven. And now it's Mustang Lifestyles. Now it's Mustang Lifestyles. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. Yes, we now have the green turd, green machine, green thing, whatever we we're going to call it, uh, we don't know yet. But be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, like this video and leave a comment, let us know what you think of this thing. Uh, we have a lot of plans for this thing. We wanna do drifting, we wanna do road race, we might take it down the quarter mile drag strip. So uh, stay tuned for that. We have some big plans, it's gonna get boosted. It has 170,000 miles on it. Actually runs pretty good for what it is. So anyway guys, we'll see you next video and look forward to more with this thing. <laughs>